Well, for more on the effects that sanctions relief might have on Iran's economy, I'm joined by Iranian journalist and analyst Negar Mortazave from New York. Thank you so much for joining us. First of all, just how much can this Thank deal you. effectively transform Iran's economy? Um, it will transform the economy a great deal, especially the inclusion of the Iranian economy back into the world market. Um, let's not forget that the U.S. sanctions on its own companies, on U.S. companies, is not going to be lifted. So we're not going to see uh, much interaction with the U.S., but with uh, European companies and with Asian companies, there's going to be a lot of re-engagement. Iran will enter the financial and the banking sector. So the implications are going to be um, huge in Iran, in the oil and gas sector and different industries. And will the average Iranian, though, be able to truly feel the difference? Uh, Negar, if you can hear me, I'm going to try that question again. I wanted to know if you think the average Iranian will be able to feel uh, the difference once these sanctions are lifted. Um, the average Iranians are not going to see much difference overnight. This is going to start um, at the very higher parts of the Iranian industry and economic sectors, but it will have implication on the overall state of the economy in the country, on employment, on um, government's uh, basically ability to, uh, to boost the economy. The Iranian economy, uh, a big portion of it is government-owned, is, um, is based on oil and gas, and um, these sanctions have just been really crippling to the Iranian economy to the fact that the average Iranian could feel the toll on their everyday life um, as far as unemployment and inflation. So they will start to see um, changes on their average life as far um, as the implications of the overall economy, but uh, definitely not much overnight. Can you give us an idea of which multinationals we might see enter the Iranian market? And, and will we witness cultural or social imports, things like fast food, uh, get into Tehran and, and greater Iran? Sure. There's a lot of European um, and Asian companies. A lot of them already had uh, trade with Iran in the past before um, these uh, economic sanctions. So some of them are going to re-enter the market, some new European and um, Asian companies, some uh, Latin American um, companies are going to enter the Iranian market again. The, uh, like I said, oil and gas sector is going to be massive. Um, not much involvement of the U.S. companies because the U.S. bilateral sanctions are going to stay in place. But um, we have seen so far a lot of interest from the European sector, from, um, from uh, all kinds of car companies, from naval shipping, from um, even aircraft. Actually, uh, there's just one exception with U.S. companies. It's in the aviation sector uh, where the U.S. companies will have the permission to do business with Iran after three decades. Okay, Negar Mortazavi, we're going to leave it there. Thanks so much for joining us live from New York.